Oh, you couldn't paint a better picture. Gorgeous. Taking aim from about 180 yards here. Currently in the lead by a shot. Looks to be going with the five iron. It's fair to say that wasn't their best shot. Needed to take a little less club on that approach. Wow, that almost went in the hole. What's in front of them, Henny, with this putt? Setting up this putt 15 feet from the cup. Go on, get in the hole. The putt drops, and this player is finished for the day. They've got to be pleased with that performance in first place at the completion of their first round. Not bad whatsoever, but still just the opening day. Lots of golf left to play. However, it does give you a little boost of confidence going forward, knowing that right now you're at the top of your form, your game is good, and you're in a good space. Well, on behalf... Sports in association with the PGA Tour is proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. We're at the Royal Championship. Today's coverage is about to start. Pleased you could join us for this second round action. I'm Luke Elby alongside Rich Beam and Rich, this player starts their round in the lead. What's the game plan for them today? Small leads are no fun because you think that you should win, you kind of expect to win, but you know that there's some good golf that must be played to get you over the line. I gotta say, small leads are just uncomfortable. Big day coming up, can't wait to see how it unfolds, Rich. This should be an absolute beauty. Time for the second shot into the first. This one looks to be on a pretty good line. Playing within their comfort zone there. And this putt is for birdie three on the scorecard. It was on a good line. There's part of about six feet coming up. Nice stroke. Starting the round at even par. That's a rock solid par right there. Currently in first position. And now striding onto the tee of this par three hole. Going with the seven. This looks to be hit pretty well from where I'm standing. Oh, that's a great shot. It sets up a wonderful birdie look here at the second. This is looking solid, what they wanted. Well, what a start. This is impressive. Just the start they were looking for, Luke. Currently seven under for the event. Always positive coming off a birdie. Let's see what happens here. Oh, that is boom. And Henny, what's he looking at here? He's got uh, about 140, I'd say. Opting for the five iron. 
got great connection here. Yeah, this is looking good. Time now for the fourth shot. Going with the five iron here. Wow, did this come out beautifully. Time for the fifth shot. Oh, wouldn't that have been nice? What are we looking at for this part, Henny? Yeah, they've left it in the perfect spot here, just below the hole. They can be aggressive up the hill. Looking good. And there may be some cracks starting to appear in this player's foundation. They've just dropped a double bogey. And that makes him tied for first. Time to take a look at what this par four might be in order. That is absolutely spot on. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? Yep, I've paced this. He's got around 195. Looks to be going with the five iron. He's found the surface. Good chance here. This putt coming up is for birdie. Oh, you know you want to. That was a gallant attempt. Well, that's a bit disappointing. Looks like a pretty straightforward five-footer to me. This is what they have left for a part. Good putt, that. And just keeping it in neutral on the leaderboard. Teeing off here at the fifth. <laughs> that was wonderfully done. Taking things up a notch in this Lexi Thompson rivalry, that shot will add some fuel to the fire. Leading by a shot after that hole. Time to tee off at the sixth. Oh, great swing there. Well, they look like they're taking this on in two. And here we are with the third shot. He leads the field by a stroke. Ooh, that almost went down. What an opportunity to make a birdie. That's frustrating. Three feet to go here to the hole. And down it goes. Currently six under for the event. It's time for a one-shotter. Well, on the tee now, coming off a par. Chance to pipe one up the middle. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Oh, this needs a little right turn, Clyde. What's in front of them, Henny? 18-footer uh, here is what he's facing. Oh, so close. Putting for a par here. They nicely hold. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Just a couple to play here on the opening nine. Here's the tee shot at the eighth.
Yeah, it's heading for the fairway. Luke, I gotta, I gotta say, I love your positive vibes, but unfortunately, that one has ended up in the bunker. That is a delightful bunker shot, Beamer. A share of top spot on the leaderboard awaits if they can make this putt. Currently at seven under for the tournament. Here we are in front of a par three. Going with the five wood. That's well played. Pin high. That's the mark of a ball striker. Birdie at the last. This for another. Okay, steady now. That's just about three feet away. That was a sensational approach, Rich, but it, you've got to feel like an opportunity was lost. Two great shots are required here because this hole is a long par four. Time for the second shot at the 10th. Opting for the five wood. That's a little wayward. Yeah, it took a bit too much club on that one. Oh, I thought that one was going in. Oh, a lovely opportunity to save par here. Ouch, that hurts. Well, they say a bogey pleases someone. The rest of the field buoyed now after that drop shot by our leader. Here we have a long par four. It's going to take two great shots to get on. Oh, well played. This shot from about 190 yards out. He shares the lead. Opting for the five iron. See if he can get that one to come back to the left a little. Getting ready to play their third. Well, that's very crafty, isn't it? Great touch. Down she goes. Let's head to the next. Let's head to the 12th hole. <laughs> ah, great shot. Well struck. Ooh, good look at a birdie here. And with that, that's their fourth birdie. And that will take him to seven under. Let's see what happens here at the 13th. Oh, you see that one bouncing around the branches like a pinball machine? Well, doesn't take a genius to know that this is not a good place to be. And this shot here coming up from around 130 yards. He shares top spot. Chosen the pitching wedge here. Oh, 
Outstanding shot. High quality. Looking for back-to-back -back birdies here, Luke. Oh, just missed. This putt was about eight feet. Oh, that's a clutch par. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. Next up is a par four. Always a stern test. Once again, Luke, just another gem of a hole. Massive bunker out there in the center of the fairway. But for most players, it's not going to come into play. Anything down the, just the right-hand side of this fairway is ideally placed. The second shot, you got to clear, oh, I don't know, a lot of beach there to a green. It's probably got more undulation than any other one on this golf course. A massive green, lots of opportunities to do good, but also a lot of opportunities to do some bad. Opting for the 9-iron. Ah, that one's heading out to the right. This would be a great up and down from this spot. And he needs this to save par. Surely it's going to. Yeah, we'll take that. So no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole. Let's see what happens here on the 15th. Really hoping they play this one aggressively. Going and going and going. That's inside the range. That chip in for Eagle works eight days a week in my book. Still in the lead now after that hole. Stepping up to the 16th tee now. Looks to be going with the six iron. That should find the surface. Oh, well played into birdie range here at the 16th. And they've been rolling the ball great today. Another great look. They're lining up the birdie putt here. Looking good so far. And another one goes. And with it, an increase of his lead. Leading by four strokes after that one. Welcome to this hole. It's a par four. Looks like they put a good swing on that one. That should find the short stuff. This shot from around the 200-yard mark. Opting for the hybrid, I think. Well, that's comfortably on the dance floor. Well played. Well, that'll work up on the dance floor. Could have been worse. Slim chance here for birdie, but you never know. Just didn't drop. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? I've been all around this, tried to read it, just can't see it, but he's got about 22 feet. Oh, you like me and thought that had a chance. This is a bogey putt coming up. 
And that was a bogey by our leader. So the rest of the field feeling a little opportunity here to close the gap. Our current leader is up by three shots. This hole is a long par four. Gotta say, just some of the best rhythm in the game. Taking aim from around 190 yards here. Now a three-shot lead over the field. Going with the five iron here. Yeah, he's not hit the mark on that approach. Looking at the caddy, a bit too much club there. Well, you like the look of those hands. Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. Gets that one to go down, and that'll end the day's work. And Rich, as this round comes to an end, this player is just barely leading the field, but absolutely loving the action this week. No doubt, Luke. And even with the very slender lead going in tomorrow's round, Luke, I'm interested to see how well this player sleeps tonight. On behalf of Rich Beam, Henny Kuyak, John McCarthy, I'm Luke Elvey saying so long from 2K Sports. Sports in association with the PGA Tour proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Royal Championship is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this final round action. I'm Luke Elvey, here alongside Rich Beam. And Rich, this next golfer starts their round. What do you think about their chances today? Look, it's a small lead, let's face it, but it's a lead, and that's where you want to be. You want to be out front. And so this player has been playing well all week long, but in saying that, they just don't want to make any mistakes. It's going to be a difficult day all around. Well, it's time for the preamble to be set aside. Let's get into the action. Let's see what kind of tone he sets for himself today. Atta boy, good shot. From around 120 yards here. All right, going with a little bit more club. Let's see. Wow, what a shot. Luke, nothing gets past you. Yes, this kid is a stud. A birdie putter waits. And now that finds him in first place. This hole is a par three. Looks to be going with the five iron. They get a little ground draw here. Yeah, not a bad shot, that one. That would be back-to-back -back birdies for this player. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Pretty straightforward four-footer coming up here. This is what they have left for par here. I don't mind the look of this. For the par. Currently at 10 under par overall. Here we are at the third. And after a par at the last, chance to maybe take a step in the right direction here. Now, yeah, great rhythm on that swing. This one from about 160 yards out. And choosing the eight iron here. Quality shot, that one. This putt 
is 16 feet to the hole. Well done. Take the birdie. Oh, that settles the nerves right there. Great stuff. Now at 11 under for the event. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves. A chance to keep it rolling. Well, that's a handy shot. This shot from around 210 yards. Going with the hybrid. That dog will hunt. And Henny, what are they looking at here? Just got to use the touch of a feather. Barely has to blow on it. This is just downhill. It was on a good line. Just six feet between he and the hole. It's got a chance. That gets the job done. Our leader is up by a whopping six shots now. Let's see what happens here at the fifth. Oh, that sounded absolutely flushed. From about 100 yards. Going for less club here. Oh, wonderful shot. And a chance for Birdie at the fifth. Ooh, right by the hole. Pretty good chance here. This one's for par. And this is quality play. Still on top of the leaderboard. Here we have a par five. That's nicely done. Second shot here on the sixth. And here we are with the third shot. That's a high quality recovery shot. Judging it beautifully. Just three feet to the cup. And that will drop in for Birdie. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard after that effort. Looking to ride the momentum after coming off a of Birdie here with this shot. Any bounce to the left here would be helpful. And he's safely on the green with that shot. A look to get to 13 under par. All right, guys. This for two birdies in a row. Ah. <sighs> That's frustrating. And just a little bit of clean-up work remaining on this hole. Now six shots in front after that hole. We've reached the eighth hole. Yeah. Handy effort, that one. Going with the pitching wedge here. And hitting yet another green here today. It's amazing to see how good this player is in full flow. Nice one. Fourth booty of the day.
managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard. Now on the tee, fresh off a of birdie, a great opportunity to build on that momentum. How close was that to going in the hole? Great shot. This would be a momentum saver here, getting this up and down. How close was that to going down? And if this can go down, he'll save par. And down it goes. Let's head to the next. It's a lofty position this player has held all tournament, but what a buffer they've built with just nine to play. Well, that's nine. So far, so good. It's great to see these two players stepping up, getting the best out of the games. It'll be interesting to see exactly who's going to be ahead at the end of the tournament. Playing this shot from around 220 yards here. Didn't look to hit that one quite so flush. One of the rare misses for this player today, Luke. They've been hitting a lot of greens today. Wow, that almost went in the hole. Oh, that's the hands of a surgeon. Lovely touch. You better believe it is great stuff to watch. Well, that's a momentum maintainer. Well done. He sits in first position. Time to see what this par four has in store. Oh, that is a thing of beauty. This shot here near the 200 yard marker. Opting for the five iron. Well played, mate. Here's a good chance to move to 14 under with this putt. Little birdie look in here. No, that's too bad. That will drive you bats. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. Let's head to the 12th hole, shall we? Good looking shot, this. Oh, well done. Scorecard filled with threes never hurts. Good putt to make this. Come on, ball. Don't deny him. Oh, what a lovely putt to make. Leading by six strokes after that one. As we head now to the par five next. I could watch that swing all day. That's beautiful. Second shot here on the 13th. Not bad. Getting ready to play their third.
trying to get to 15 under now with this opportunity. Their short game today has been absolutely sublime fun to watch. Ooh, that'll sting a bit. Par putt coming up here. Good stroke. Our current leader is enjoying a six-stroke advantage. It's time to tee off here at the 14th hole. Once again, Luke, just another gem of a hole. Massive bunker out there in the center of the fairway. But for most players, it's not going to come into play. Anything down the, just the right-hand side of this fairway is ideally placed. The second shot... You got clear, oh, I don't know, a lot of beach there to a green. It's probably got more undulation than any other one on this golf course. A massive green, lots of opportunities to do good, but also a lot of opportunities to do some bad. And that was a bit of a misfire. Lots of greens and regulations today for this player, but not so on this occasion. Henny, you've had the chance to have a look over this one. All right, down the hill here. Got to be gentle. This one's tracking. That's a good punt to make, that one. Now six shots in front after that hole. Well, let's get amongst this 15th hole. Really hoping they play this one aggressively. This one looks to be headed towards the fairway. Found the green side rough. Well done. That takes the pressure off the putt. That's a chip to be proud of. Love watching this player around the greens just building upon his advantage he keeps making the important plays Whew, that is some pretty good breathing room out in front by a bunch and maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that three holes remaining this is what it's all about time to see who is going to get it done going with the five iron here that's not what they were looking for. What a shame. Has hit a lot of greens today, just not on this occasion. Setting up here with a very long putt. Nice little par putt here. Ouch, that hurts. Just a tiny putt is all that remains. Well, the leader giving a little hope for the rest of the field there as they put down a bogey on the scorecard. And now on the tee, coming off a bogey, trying to reclaim some momentum. Tee shot is looking good here. Oh, he's been putting on a clinic all day. Another beauty by our leader. Huge tee shot there, Luke. What a display of power. Yeah, that's a good line. That should find the surface. Just in case Lexi thought that she was going to dominate the match today in this rivalry, he's come out and put that down, laid that gauntlet down, and now I think things will get interesting. Our leader is up by a whopping six shots now. Well, what a lovely position to be in, holding the lead, playing the last. Good luck.
This one's looking good off the tee. That should find the short stuff. Playing this shot from about 170 yards out. Looks to have chosen the 7-iron. This one looks like it'll safely make the green. Well, that certainly makes putty a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that. This one here, this is for back-to-back -back birdies, moving him in the right direction. Oh, so close. Not the end of the world. There's another chance here to close out the victory. And that'll do it. Holds it for the win. Luke, the victories. Winning never gets old, but this is getting out of hand, isn't it? Another victory on the season. But Henny, that was some impressive play. To take down a rival of that caliber and to win the event, what a performance. Yes, Luke, we doubted them, but they got the job done and they took down their hero. The rivalry is theirs and theirs alone. And they can boast about this on social media for, well, weeks now. Well, another great day of action here at 2K Sports. On behalf of Rich Beam, the entire hardworking folks and team here, I'm Luke Elvey. We look forward to your company next time.